Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see what is the notification area and settings related to it. This is the notification area, and these are all the tiles available that we can quickly access as settings. So, for example, if I were to go to VPN, <clears throat> there are two ways for me. One is simply let's collapse this one. So, so one is click here, expand, and VPN. That's it. The other one is if I go type in VPN and click on VPN settings. So, yeah. and third one is obviously go to the settings and then finding where it will be or search here. So, let's see what the notification settings are. Can we right click and find go to the settings or not? Focus assist, we will see. Uh, that in a minute, but let's go to systems notification and actions. So <clears throat> it says quick actions. So for quick action, it's I these are the quick actions. Like you can click on this one of this app and it will take you right to that setting. Um, so you could add, but since this is grayed out, it means everything has already been added. So if I were to remove, let's say, project, then it's no longer grayed out. So I can click on add and I see what's left and I can add it and it's grayed out then. It means everything has been added. <coughs> so this is pretty easy. Notification. Do you want to get notification from apps and other senders? If you click on you get notification like this one drive right if i were to turn it off let's see if it's still there yes because it's it was already it already came through so but future will not come for what's focus assist this is the times that one time you uh want to get notification or not we're gonna cover it in the next video <clears throat> so this one talks about show notification on the lock screen so this will I'm pretty sure um, it will not be for the domain joint computers it's only for these work groups uh, you get a note uh, on your login screen when you before you click on your name and enter password <coughs> as uh, uh, <coughs> it shows you how many emails you have on your account so it gives you uh, like if it's neat if uh, you like I worked at, um, uh, at an office where I had to uh, constantly communicate uh, with different uh, like um, different businesses and <clears throat> there were two ways that uh, you have to constantly check your email like open the email and re keep refreshing it but this was neat so it will show me how many emails on the badge and i will simply go and quickly check them and then i don't have to open and or keep open the uh, mail client it will just show up there so it was pretty neat and so in the lock screen same thing before you log in you have the mail icon and on it it's a small badge with telling you how many emails are in there show reminders and incoming wipe calls on the lock screen again if you have set any rema reminders or you have any incoming wipe call it will show up on the lock screen and you will know who's calling or what uh, <coughs> how reminders you had set windows welcome experience after updates and occasionally when assigning to highlight what's new and suggested so if windows updates it give you uh a overview of what's new so you get familiar with that okay this new feature has been added or occasionally as well what's new and suggested get trips and trick suggestion as you use windows so if you were using windows and you did not uh, actually reach to that setting that could have helped you windows will suggest tips and tricks get notification from these senders so cortana the assistant they can send you of course if you have turned on uh, all the if you have kept all the default that uh, privacy features that people love to <coughs> or should turn off because then <coughs> um, like Microsoft uh, has it's like they know everything what you're doing on the computer um, 
So uh, for privacy reason, yes, you should turn the, all those features off and get rid of this. Uh, Cortana can send you messages. Um, Microsoft Edge. So, but it's really invasive of this. What the Cortana and all that you have to use Microsoft. Everything is being recorded and doing, and then based on that, they make a profile and then suggest uh, solutions and all that. It's uh, I, it's ideal and not ideal, depending on what your take on privacy is. Microsoft Edge can send you um, notifications. It will be about website services, anything, or your searches. OneDrive will send you messages, and we see an example right here that OneDrive is saying, uh, it's saying item name is not allowed, but if you remember from my old video, we had banned EXE upload. And once that policy was applied, it showed up, hey, this file should not be there. Remove it, rename it, whatever. So I, I believe even if you rename it, it's not gonna do because it's uh, we blocked the exe so the user has to remove the file next we have outlook like outlook can send you notifications and i'm guessing it will sh it should show you the new email that came through and setting setting can uh, give you notification that a setting was changed by a program or for example um, Windows Defender can send you a message that um, um, potential malware or something was uh, detected and was blocked or a connection, unsecured connection, anything related to setting they can show you and you know what's going on with the computer. Uh, so we can try about the Outlook. I can quickly try to send an email to one of the accounts here and see if that pops up here. So there is no notification in the mail. Let's see if the email came through to the Outlook or not. Outlook is on, nope, it's not there. So, so one thing about the keyboard, oh sorry, I think if I press O, right there. So I want to check something here, like if you press E and click on O, so you go straight to program. List out. Actually, I don't see that uh, email that I just sent. Is it in junk mail? Nope. Inbox. Let's see if there's a sync option. Still inbox has 27. Let me try sending another email. Again, pause the video. So let's try that one more time. There's no notification here. But is the email there? It is. So email came through see if there's a setting or something let me all right so we have the email here it's not showing up in the notification but I believe that will do when we are doing full screen and you know we are doing a pro uh, like doing something uh, in full screen mode in the computer and then it will show up here that's my assumption or maybe because this is a domain joint computer it could be any reason uh, so let's wrap this video here uh, 
If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.